derive and interpret the expression for the government budget constraint. So one thing you have to understand that uh, government spending is G, government's income is T. So if government spending is more than its taxes, it means that the government has a budget deficit. And when the government has a deficit, then it has to finance its deficit. It has to meet expenditures. Although its expenditures are more than its taxes, it will still have to make expenditure. So it is going to finance this deficit. So it will be borrowing from the private sector. And the accumulation of the past borrowing is nothing but the government debt. Right? So let us write the first point first. So I'll come to the expression for the government budget constraint, but let's just write that. Please remember when a government. more than it collects in taxes. It has a budget deficit. And this budget deficit has to be financed, financed by borrowing. And the accumulation of this borrowing is nothing but the government debt, which it finances. By borrowing from the private sector. And the accumulation of past borrowing is the government debt. And the accumulation of the past borrowing is the government debt. So the government debt is the liability of the government which it owes to the public, uh, foreign, and the other institutions. Government deficit is nothing but the excess of the expenditure on its income. So when you say that there is an increase in the government deficit, means government is spending more and it has to finance its it through debt. So, and if the government continues to borrow to finance this deficit, the government debt is also going to increase over the time. So you should be knowing all this. Um, suppose government is starting with the balanced budget. What do you mean by balanced budget? When government's expenditure is equal to government's income, means government's expenditure is G, government's income is T. And now government cuts taxes. Government cuts taxes. The moment government is going to cut its tax, its income is going to fall. This is going to create a deficit. Then the question which is going to arise is that what will happen to the debt over time? So we'll be asking, we'll be answering these questions. So let us just write the uh, expression for the deficit. In year T, deficit in year T. One, government's expenditure is more than government's income, that is taxes. And 
government would have to take up certain debt and would have to pay the interest on those debts. So let's say you are sitting in time period T. So government would have taken up the borrowings to time period T minus one to the amount of BT minus one. And let's say the interest rate is R. So R BT minus one is the interest on the government debt till time period T minus one. That is also the expenditure of the government. It has to be added. And your G is uh, nothing but the government uh, expenditure. T is other taxes minus transfers for their end. So this R B T minus one is, uh, so first of all, let's say what is, or you can just write R B T minus one is the real interest payment. real interest payments on the government debt in year T, right? So BT minus one is the amount of the government debt till time period T minus one, till period T minus one. And R BT minus one is the interest which you have to pay on that government debt. So that is also the expenditure that will be added to your G. GT is the government spending on the goods and services in time period T. T is taxes minus transfers. T is taxes minus transfers. So the government budget constraint is simply stating the change in the government debt in time period T is equal to the deficit in time period T. Change in the government debt in time period T is equal to the deficit in time period T. So please write this. The government budget constraint simply states that the change in government debt During the period T is equal to deficit during period T. Why am I writing all this way? There is, there was the deficit, oh sorry, there was the, the debt of BT minus 1 till time period T minus 1. Yes. Government this year has also spent more than what its income is. Huh? Yes. So government would have to take debt in order to finance that income. Oh sorry, that expenditure. Yes. So the change in the government debt is nothing but the deficit. Huh? So deficit is nothing but the change in the government debt. And in place of deficit, I can write GT minus TT plus R BT minus one. And this is BT minus BT minus one. So if you just uh, look at this expression, this is telling you that it is linking the change in the government debt to the initial level of debt and to the current spending and taxes. That's true. So you are starting with, in time period T, you are starting with BT minus 1. So it is linking the initial level of debt 
with the current government spending and taxes. Fair enough. This GT minus TT, if this is positive, means government's expenditure is more than government's taxes. This is deficit. And this is called primary deficit. So I'll also write it uh, somewhere. If GT minus TT is positive, it is means government's <clears throat> expenditure is more than government's income. It is primary deficit. And if GT minus TT is negative, means government's income is more than government's expenditure. This is the case of primary surplus. This is the case of primary surplus. So this guy is the interest payment. This is the change in debt. So I can also write this as this guy. So Vt is equal to Vt minus one plus R into Vt minus one plus Gt minus T. So it is 1 plus R, Bt minus 1, plus Gt minus Tt. Gt minus Tt. So what you are trying to say is that the debt in at the end uh, of year T is equal to 1 plus R times the debt at the end of year t minus 1 plus governments the excess of government spending over taxes in time period this is what has been told. so <clears throat> this relation is only something which we are going to use later so this is what is uh, the government's budget constraint is so you you say that the debt in time period t is equal to 1 plus r times debt in time period t minus 1 plus primary deficit in time period t. So this is, you can debt. In time period t is equal to 1 plus r times debt in time period t minus 1 plus primary deficit. So, I'll stop out here. We'll take the discussion further. Thank you, Bhutan.